You know, man, I, I, I really don't think this is how you make gin. Uh, this is how my grandfather did, and his grandfather before him. Bowser, bring me the olives. This martini's gonna get dirty. Yeah. What's this for? We're making gin. Bathtub gin. That good? Yeah. You want to stir? Evening, folks, and welcome to the Weird Booze Weekend. I'm Elliot Fox. I'm Bowser. And I'm Derek. All right. Tonight, we got a little twist for you here, because normally we drink something really, really obscure, but this week we're going to be drinking something a little more common, but with a twist on it. So tonight, we'll be drinking gin. Wait a second. It's gin with a J. Now, this is brought to us from Dogfish Head Brewery, and I think Bowser is going to tell us a little bit of something about it. Dogfish Head Brewery is mostly known for their fantastic beers. This I picked up a trip on a trip down to Delaware, where they actually have a distillery above their original brewery that you can actually yeah. go and visit. And why is it different? And the great thing about this, since it's made at a brewery, it's actually been distilled with hops in it. So it's a gin with hops. So it's going to be kind of a kind of a, a beer tasting gin. Yes. That's, that sounds pretty weird to me. Derek, while Bowser is setting these up, can you tell us what we're going to be drinking tonight? Well, tonight? Not a twist off. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, well, tonight, we're going to start with a uh, martini, I believe, right? Martini is the first. Then we're going to do the suggested drink was some of this with a shot of a hoppy beer. An IPA. An IPA. Then we're going to have a gin and tonic, because why the fuck not? I, I can't think why the fuck not. Last year we were having a Tom Collins. We wanted to do a bunch of classic gin drinks for tonight. So we figured. Yeah, let's see how the hops effect. All right. How do they toast in Delaware? Cheers. cheers? <laughs> have we ever said cheers on the Weird Booze Weekend? Wait, wait, wait. We have to make this weird. You ready? All right. We have to do. Here is to being single, seeing double, sleeping triple. <laughs> uh, 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 hold that. Click me. There we go. There we go. All right, down the hatch, kids. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. That's wild. I wouldn't mind that with a pickleback. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really good. Nickelback? Pickle. No. No. Nothing goes with Nickelback. Nothing. No town does. I've proven that. I stand corrected. How about a drink? All right, on to the first mixed drink of the night. Okay, kids, our first mixed drink of the night, Dogfish Head Gin Martini. It smells delicious. Yeah. I, I cannot believe how aromatic this stuff is. And I did about a four to one, five to one ratio of the gin to the uh, dry vermouth. And no olives this No side. olives, no garnish. So this is just straight up single ice cube in there. He's got two, because, yeah. Uh, screw you, too. He used to being single, seeing double, and what was the last one? Sleeping Sleep triple. triple. I apologize to my girlfriend. Drink! Drink it. Huh. Wow. That is probably... That's Chris. Like, as far as, like... Something that hues close to a traditional martini, that's probably the best tasting martini I've Holy ever shit. had. I don't really like martinis, but this is pretty damn good. Yeah. I want to say this about the drink. You can taste yeah, how boozy it is because it's very oh, yeah. and Oh, yeah, this is boozy. But at the same time, it's very crisp. Well, you know, and a lot of times when you drink a martini straight with, like, no garnish or anything like that, like, and I, I'm a man who likes martinis. I've, I've loved them ever since I first started drinking. Um, but, you know, you get that... You know, kind of at the end there, you get that yeah. bite on a martini. And this doesn't have any of that. It is smooth as sin. It's the boozy equivalent of a 7-Up or Sierra Mist, whichever you prefer. I, I like Mellow Yellow myself, but... White bread. <laughs> what about Dr. Popper? I prefer Dr. Thunder because it sounds like a pro wrestler.
All right, folks, we got our second mixed drink of the night. Uh, what we've done is we've taken the uh, Dogfish Head uh, gin and thrown it into some Dogfish Head IPA to make kind of a variation on a Boilermaker. Bowser, give us a, a little bit more on the, the beer that we're using and uh, the history of this here. Now, this is the Dogfish uh, IPA 60-minute. They also make a 90-minute and a 120. Now, the minutes mean... Uh, when I'm glad you're explaining that because I was about to I know you were! <laughs> you saw the question poised on our lips. Basically, when you brew your own beer, you boil the beer, or well, it would be the wort at that point. The unfermented beer. Unfermented beer. I knew beer. that. There you go. You cook it usually for 60 minutes for most yep. beers. What this means, it's 60 minute IPA, for 60 minutes they are continuously hopping this beer. Really? Now most of you know for most other beer they usually put in some hops at the very beginning and then at the very end yeah. and that's it. Sixty minutes. So we're drinking hops on hops here tonight, all yeah. from from hops Dogfish Head. Are we gonna try this? Yeah, let's try Cheers. this. Cheers! Right. Cheers! Cheers! Being single, say hey. Why do you keep forgetting? Cause you're so tiny. Mmm. Oh my god, the gin sits right there on the foam on the top. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's fantastic. I want to say this. I'm not a fan of beer, but wow. Ago. This? I mean, this takes hops on hops, on, it almost like diffuses the hop flavor. So really what we've learned is that to get you to like beer, we have to add liquor to it. Yes. But no, like, you know what I mean. Like, I don't like the hoppy flavor. We've been over this in yeah. private before. Derek and I often talk about his drinking problems in private. He's my therapist. But no, like throwing the sponsor. gin in, <laughs> throwing the gin in actually like almost diffuses that citrusy, happy flavor. Yeah. You still get it, but you don't get as strong as you would with a standard IPA. They kind so, of follows each other out. Yeah. So I have a thought here on, uh, let's get an opinion from the man on the street here. I brought my buddy Chris Steady in. Come on in. Steady, <laughs> sir. What's your opinion on the drink? <laughs> It's, uh, it's excellent. It's excellent. Yeah, this is yeah. good. It really is it good. Is. You know, you get a hint of the gin, but the 60 minute IPA is so strong in itself. The two of them together really, it just brings everything. It's just awesome. It yeah. really is good. I recommend ordering this in a bar because the bartender always gives you great looks. Can I have an India Pale Ale with a shot of gin in it? Way to go, hipster. Mm, indeed. Just floated on top. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a comment about this um, that I really like this and like it's kind of making me not want to order IPAs on their own anymore. I, I'm like I, honestly I think I really want to just start putting shots of gin in my IPAs. Ever since we finished season one of Weird Blues Weekend, I have gotten really really into obscure beers, and I am bored by traditional drinks now. Like I go out and like I can't just sit back and drink beers. I get kind of bored with beer because doing this show has introduced me to so it's many new, new on three. and One, interesting flavors. And two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our third mixed drink of the night is a hop gin and tonic. It smells delicious. It's all these, all these. Are just, they're so freaking aromatic and like it's really. But they smell real crisp. Who yeah. the hell cut the slime? This is the biggest. You're welcome. Is that what we have... Like mine looks delightful. So is mine. What's wrong with yours? It's a giant ass lime. Ellie told me the size of wedges. I in fact told Derek to cut lime wedges. No, Derek... I said you want slices. You said like wedges. I said slice. Yes, like. Wedges. Wait, 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 wait. He cut them. Who put them on the drink? I did. Whatever. Mine looks delightful. Oh, I, I already know. accepted mine. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Then we're clinking. Oh, he remembers. He Whipsy remembers. Doopsy. He remembers. Booby dooby. Yeah. Cheers. This is the best damn gin and tonic I ever it's had. It's a pretty damn good this gin and tonic. Oh. This is a good gin and tonic. Yeah. yeah. Now, Sam, the dogfish. You did a good job. Ugh. Now, I used a different tonic than you guys did. And, and Wait, your guys, what? what? I used a different How tonic. How dare you? Well, I it's hard for me to tell because I have a whole fucking lime squeezed into mine. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Lime with gin and tonic, it's a good call. But this tastes like a standard gin and tonic, 
but for some reason it's a little smoother than the ones I oh, yeah. normally no, have. No, it's, it's, this hop gin is, is such a smooth, like, neat gin, and it's, I, it doesn't really have that, that quality of like a London dry gin, which is what yeah. I'm used to. What this is really close to in taste is, it's kind of like a Jennifer, a Dutch gin, which is like a wet gin, which isn't really an accurate term, but I'm going to join you guys here in the uh, lime. It helps it. It's just like homemade and awesome. Do it. So it's like a bootlegger. Mmm. No, because... Well, that really makes a huge difference. Throwing yeah, that, it does. Throwing that just right down that in there. That tastes delicious, though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I, I did it first. Thank you, Bowser. I cut them. I think you missed a lot of complaining about the uh, the cuts on that. But look how thick they are like steaks made of bear. <laughs> I do. If I want a steak, yes, that's a, well, that's actually a wimpy size still. It's a steak for a vegan. I could use a new drink. You could use a new drink. One more <laughs> drink. All right, we're on to drink number three, but uh, we don't know where Derek went. He's he's. Oh shit! <laughs> We've got uh, we've got the dispatcher from uh, Taxi here, Louis. Louis uh, De Palma. Louis De Palma. This I, is magnificent. I think that's Derek. I'm too drunk to handle this. I love Taxi. I love Taxi so much. It's one of my all-time favorite TV shows. That's great. We're here for booze. But this is magnificent. Look at him. Look at him. He even got like the pink suit and the and the, the or the pink shirt and the Louis gray suit. Louis De Palma's a man who only needs one suit. Maybe needs... two ties. Folks, we're wrapping up tonight with the Tom Collins. It's a delicious gin mixture. We've used the hop gin for it. It smells sweet. It smells like candy. What this is, it's uh it's uh, uh two parts gin. Three quarters part uh, sweet syrup, simple syrup. Uh, three quarters part lemon juice, uh, one part uh, club soda, and a maraschino cherry thrown in. It's got that beautiful little like clarity there, a little cloudy. You can see the cherry floating there in the bottom. All right, let's take it. How would they cheers on taxi? Let's just drink, motherfuckers. Not half bad, not half good. Yeah, no, I, I like it's not a bad drink. I like it. It's, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's tasty. But of the, all the drinks we've had tonight, I think it's the least impressive. Really? There's yeah. a bit of an tonight. aftertaste of it that I'm not enjoying. Yeah. It's a hops in it. No, not, not for, I'm not getting it. I it's very sweet. This is good. I'm getting a slight bite of hops at the end, and I'm not enjoying it. Like I'm not I, like. I'm not disappointed with this. I'm not disappointed. Yeah. Like, all the drinks tonight have been tasty. This is this has been one, this has been one of the drinks. It's the this weaker. Is, this has been one of the bottles that we brought in where everything very drinkable, very good. Unless well, he um, stands up against the avocado. <clears throat> oh my God! It's a throwback to season one. I'm getting everyone's. <laughs> my fingers aren't long enough. Ha! <laughs> I'm getting everyone's garnish. It's made no, that was delicious when I licked my fingers. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck. No! What are you doing? Bantha, what are you doing? <laughs> are you even speaking English? <laughs> I'm naming characters off the show mm. to make him laugh. All right, gents. Let's rank our drinks tonight. I would go beer, then I would go gin and tonic, I would go this, martini shot. Is that from least to best? Best to least. Oh, you're going down the scale. Okay, um, the top I'm a little torn, because I love the gin and tonic. That was something gin that was I could good. drink it faster. However, I did like the, I did like our uh, makeshift boiler maker. Mm -hmm. This is at the bottom because this is the one that gave me the most bite on the hops. Yeah, yeah. And although the bite on the hops is like citrusy flavor, it doesn't mix well with this. All right. You are housing those cherries. I, I mean, they're fucking in front of me and I'm hungry. 
All right. Bottom of my list. Oh, snap. Wait, give me some of that. This right here. I mean, it's, again, it's not bad. And, I it's mean, not. this this one's just ridiculous now. I like this. Riddled with cherries. It's a little bit sweet. I don't like sweet things. But... Riddled with, oh, God, that is. <laughs> Was it the lemon juice? Yeah. Wow. You're welcome. <laughs> Holy shit. You're welcome, ass wipe. <laughs> I think, I think I think I'm gonna have to place at the very top of the list the boiler maker. The variant on the boiler maker. That was really good. Oh. Yeah, no, that was really that was really good. tasty. Closely, closely followed by the martini. I really like the martini. That that uh, shot with the uh the IPA, that snuck up on a lot of us. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That it's a That was fact. that was that was where we became drunk tonight. And yes. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a warning. I've done those a lot. Two, I'm out. He, he's warned us long after we've you know finished all of our mixed drinks of the night. He's a hero, oh, the champion. He's a hero and a mighty one at that. Can we can we like have the, the what's that that American hero song that playing now? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me. I wanted the actual song, not you guys singing. That's what you get. It's Weird Booze Weekend. Why we fail him? Okay, next time on Weird Booze Weekend, maybe we drink a Domaine de Canton. Hey, thanks for watching this week's episode of Weird Booze Weekend. We hope you liked it. And if you want some more content from us, well, I keep the subscriptions right up in here. And I just brewed up a fresh pot of our last episode. Huh? I know you want a drink. Come on, take a sip.